Hello, America. I just wanted to come on tonight and talk about how preppers were right. And y'all need to just shut up about preppers. You need to get off of preppers back. Uh, any of you goonball idiots out there that aren't going to be prepared, that aren't going to have a couple days, couple weeks, couple months worth of food stored back, then that's on you, man. You better look around the world and see what's going on. You better uh, put some supplies back, fresh water for your kids and animals uh, at a bare minimum. Uh, what what happens if uh, this nuclear radiation contaminates our water system here in the United States? What if it falls all over the Rocky Mountains, radiates the water, and you in Colorado, you in L.A. Uh, don't have any water? Uh, what's going to happen then? Don't You're going to wish you had a 30-day supply of clean water on hand. You're going to wish you had some of that non-irradiated food stored up in your basement where none of it got on it. You're going to wish that you would listen to the so-called dumbass preppers, the people you make fun of. That's a fact, Jack. That's the way it works. People have been getting prepared. People have been trying to warn you. Now look what's going on. Look around the world. Unrest in Africa. Unrest in the Middle East. Unrest creeping into Saudi Arabia. We don't have enough armies to go around. We can't cover them all. The world is just crumbling at our hands. Look at the 8.9% uh, earthquake in Japan. 9.0. A terrible thing. Tsunamis. Nuclear fallout disaster. There's not enough going in the world to make you think, well, maybe I ought to stock up a few gallons of water and a couple of cans of beans. Uh, if you're not smart enough to figure that out, then you deserve what happens to you. You deserve to fall to the wayside because you're not even considerate enough of yourself to support yourself, to store back some food, to try to support your family in the times that are coming and i'm telling you you better wake up with the devaluation of the dollar food skyrocketing no food on the shelves businesses can't afford to put the food on the shelves to let it sit because nobody can buy it that's hyperinflation that's going to happen i hope you bought some bullets i hope you bought some silver i hope you prepare yourself and your family for what could happen Look at Japan dumping billions into its economy two days after trying to keep things from getting worse. What's going to happen with the chain reaction? Japan owns the second largest amount of our debt next to China. What's going to happen when Japan calls in our marker on its just under a trillion dollars, $936 billion owed to Japan? Then what's our economy going to do? What's going to happen when they call in those bonds? That takes $936 bill, $100 billion out of the economy. What's that going to do? And you people say, oh, preppers are stupid. You people say, oh, they cling to their religion and guns in times of uh, trial and in times of fear. Well, what gets you through a time of fear? Religion and guns. God protects your soul and the guns protect the front door. That's what you better pay attention to, America. It's that simple. The government is going to do the best job it can to save all of us. Japan's government's doing the best they can do to save all of them. But as you can see how difficult that is to save millions of people. Now you need to have some food, some supplies, a blanket, a flashlight, ready to go in a bag in case you have to leave the house. That's the minimum requirement you should do if you have children just to ensure that they survive the next 24 hours if something happens, you should have those items. And I don't want to hear any more people cracking jokes on preppers and talking about tea bag this, prepper that. You guys need to get smart. And I'm trying to tell you right now, get smart, do what's right for you and your family, and get some supplies. It's as simple as that. If you don't supply yourself, 
then you are in a world of hurt thinking they're going to be able to helicopter water and food to you in one day. They cannot. And it is up to us to keep some supplies so we don't die before they can get here with the helicopters. So go ahead, keep making fun, save the $100 in your pocket because the, the end's never coming. America, my prayers are with you. They're with the people of Japan. And I want to say God bless America and God bless Springfield Armory.